Hello, Internet. Well, hello again, Internet. Uh, you know me as McQueen17, and I am joined today by a longtime friend and no doubt greatest critic, Astakos. Hello. And let's see, after a very gentle start, uh, my interceptor utterly destroyed the UFO pretty much. Um, all the stuff that we collected from that crash should be in our stores now. And yep. Heavy plasma. They actually had a heavy plasma. Ooh. Though no clips, you'll notice. Uh, the corpses. They, once you research one, they have no more use. That is... Well, I mean, sometimes your soldiers get hungry. Yeah, right? Yes. So their really only point after the first one is to just sell them. For every alien corpse is 20k a pop. I imagine... Apparently there's a lot of people that want to research them. Uh, yeah, research or some sort of... Xeno necrophilia, maybe? <laughs> oh, well. Um, we can only. Uh, you said it. We can only wonder. <laughs> yep, one crew member died, so let us. Next one in the line, Mr. Kenji Okabe. Okobe? Might be an A. It might be an A. Okabe? Kind of hard to tell. Yeah, that was actually the, uh, the lesser missile one that blew the crap out of that. Well, it's a good thing you didn't use the stronger missile one. Well, you never know, because, I mean, sometimes with the smaller missile one on the smaller UFOs, the first missile might down it, because there's a range of damage it does, depending, and it fires both of them at the same time. So mm. maybe the first salvo did just enough damage to not knock it down, and then rolled max damage for the second salvo to bring it down, and... But in any case, it was a nice, gentle start for my rookies. Not that I particularly care about whether things are gentle or not for them, but hmm. At not least until I'm, later in the game. Yeah, well, once they've got that experience and they've started to become more valuable to you. And they will still die. Let's get things moving along. Hey, look at that. We got our cool new weapon. Laser pistol. Cool. Let me see. It's 46 damage. I can't quite remember. Allocate research, of course, to the laser rifle because that is an extremely useful weapon to have. Always keep my base stocked with them, just in case. And we can start manufacturing. The engineers can finally get up off their one-week vacation. Start production. Now, uh, let's, let's start with eight. One for every member of the crew. That'll take ten days. I want UFOpedia! Yes, much like Civilopedia. This was a um, microprose game, which was, I believe, founded... By Sid Meier's? Yes, or by it, Sid Meier's. If not founded, then at least he was a major player he in there. He was a major player in there. Apparently he loves adding Pedia to stuff. Uh, weapons and equipment. So the plasma, or the laser pistol is 46 damage compared to a rifle, which is 30 damage. Armor piercing, but 30 damage. And we're moving right along. Anything I need to purchase? General stores. Now I can start getting some stuff. Yes, because as you, um, your general stores can actually go over capacity, but uh, only if it's uh, stuff that you're bringing back from the uh, crashed UFOs. So what happens to the overflow then? Uh, it's just there. <laughs> it is, you're, you're, they are over capacity. They're just crammed in there, I guess. You don't lose any of it. Then what's the point of building more? Um, I cannot, for instance, purchase... I cannot purchase any more avalanche launchers if my stocks are full. And uh, it even gets to a point where if I go to, like, equipped craft and equipment, I can't take things off of the Sky Ranger to put into stores because the storage is too full. Ah. Yeah, so it's a problem. You do need the general stores. So you, you need the room to be able to organize your stuff. Basically, yes. But, let's see, now that we have that general stores... There's a cat that is bugging me. Perhaps he thinks this is too boring. Well, screw you, cat. Okay, well, let's go. It's not all about him, so it makes sense. That is fair. Hey, come here. Let me pet you. There we go. Plenty of rockets. Yes, I'm going to... I don't usually use the heavy weapons platforms, just because rookies are so much cheaper. <laughs> and even the heavy weapon platforms can be shot with one... can be taken down with one shot, if it's a good enough shot. But, but they're going to come in handy later on in, like, the terror missions and stuff, right? Yes, for the terror missions, before I start getting the really nice weapons, I mean, I just can't... My, my guys simply can't take down 
like uh, the the more powerful terror units like cyber disks, which are the first ones you usually encounter. I mean, and even once they get some rudimentary laser weapons, it'll be it'll be hard to take them down. So hopefully, with enough rockets, we will prevail. Although, if I'm really only using it in terror missions, then civilians better run and hide. <laughs> Be, they should be doing that anyways. It, the aliens are basically slaughtering all they can find. Okay, we got a Mr. Sharp. I think that's a Sharp. Maybe it's Sharp. That's sharp, Sharp. totally an A. Sharp, Sharp. Yeah, unless his name is Frank. It could be... Oh, you're right. I could have compared it. Let's see, though. So Frank? Yeah, I think you are right. That is a... Uh... Frank Sharp, yes. We can actually change their names if we want. There. <laughs> that is basically all you are to any of us. Maybe we'll give you another name if you survive. With you that terrible firing accuracy, back. though, yes, you get to earn <laughs> your name. Okay, Geoscape. Eight more days till alien containment. Well, do you think it'll ever be useful to take your guys and... Ooh, UFO. Heck yeah. Uh, to take your guys and say, this guy has these particular stats that are best, so I'm going to give him this equipment. And this guy has these particular stats that are best, and you're just kind of specialize your units in general i try to keep them all, all not keep them all well rounded but i mean there's definitely a uh, a good school of thought i mean but the fact is the uh, everyone will grow into the roles you give them because so of if the you experience make, exactly game. because of how everything because of how their uh, stats increase so i'd rather have them general good all-rounders small very low sit on ufo time five seconds and look at you Okay. It was small, but you know what? Let's use the one with the avalanche missiles. I don't like how close he is to my base. He's just about close enough that he might be able to detect it. He was just, you know, touring around Europe. He wanted to see where uh, Napoleon used to be held, and now he's heading off <laughs> towards, you know, Vatican City or something. Is that Elba? I think so. My geography's not the greatest, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, first hit. Oh, yeah. All right. We got him. We downed him. Excellent. We are going to wait until it is daytime. As I've said before, night missions are the bane of rookie's existence. I'm sorry. No, the end of rookie's existence are <laughs> night missions. Now, that thing took two salvos to take down, so there's a good chance that it that the engines did not survive. Sky Ranger 1. Yeah. Just wait until you have more than one of those. Sky Rangers? I mean... Well, I, you probably only need one per base, but... Yeah, one per base. Until you have more than one base. Yes. And, uh, usually, if things go on track, your second base should be coming up right around, actually, the second month, towards the end, maybe. Earlier, if you're doing really well. Yeah, money's the only worry about that, though. Okay, okay, I'm going to retract my previous statement. That's totally not Elba. I was going to say, it looked really <laughs> big for Elba. I thought Elba was like a small, small island. You know what? I know it's in that area, but like I said, geography is not my greatest subject. Able was I, ere I mistook Elba. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Oh, right off the bat. Oh, look at him sitting there in the window. Well, that's convenient. Mr. Homburger, he's our sergeant. Well, first things first, you always save right at the beginning. And start. you should also check if your other guy in front has a view on him. Uh, so the other sergeant, Crystal Vogel, it's a shame that they're both in the very front, because that basically means they will die. <laughs> oh no, the UFO is smoking, that means that the... Oh, you killed the reactor. Yep. Oh, that's fine. Hopefully, we... Hopefully this will just be another gentle start for our poor people. Let's see, do I want them to get the kills or not? Let's see, he is not facing us. I'm sure you'd prefer them not to get killed, so you might as well shoot the alien before he has a chance to shoot you. Let's see, yeah, he's not facing us. The thing is, if I have them... If I have this guy shoot at this guy, if he hits him but doesn't kill him, then the alien has a chance to do a reaction shot. If the alien turns around, he will shoot straight into my craft. 
And if he doesn't auto shoot, he could just clearly take out three guys without a sweat. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that has happened before. <laughs> I regret to say. That being said, I really do like mismanaging my rookies. But these sergeants aren't rookies. So let's have you step out. <gasps> She's still alive. Congratulations, Miss Fogel. Maybe you shouldn't have your sergeants in front. Uh, you can't. You can't change the order. Oh. Yeah, that shit. is one of that is one of the issues, but. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. The only thing you can do is if I were to bring along a heavy weapons platform, it would be in the very front. Mm. Which is good. Excuse me. You know, it would be nice if this game had a mini-map. Hang on. All right. Well, I meant more on the uh, normal game screen, but normal play screen. But, you know, that works. Oh, yep, there's even a hole in the frickin' <laughs> no. thing where the uh, energy core is. But that's fine. It's a perfect place to throw a grenade. Okay, we have... Uh, he's not a rookie either. Gosh, they're all in the front. Which I guess makes sense, since not too many die. Here's what we're going to do. We run up to the building. Miss absolutely terrible firing accuracy. Let's see how this goes. Well, he made it an easier shot for <laughs> other people to go. Oop, and he's going to get that reaction shot. Wow. Wow, you were lucky. Yeah, I told you, luck is the uh, biggest factor in whether or not people survive this. That alien must be a rookie. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> Better accuracy. And he dies. Ah, uh, and he screams like a dinosaur. Did you see that? That one bullet took out an entire stack of hay. That's oh. impressive. That must be the armor-piercing part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the Sky Ranger didn't take any damage. Hooray! Yay! Okay, okay. Apparently one of my rookies saw just the slightest bit of something over here. You know what? Let's... Mr. Brett. Oh, you have good strength. Terrible firing accuracy, good reactions. Fantastic. Tell you what... You feel it right. Will your guy set that off if they get too close to it? Absolutely. All right. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, 43, and it takes her 42, and she'll need to turn 45 degrees. We should be able to do this. Right, you get an. Yeah, right. Unable to throw here. Okay, chances Is are she the standing angle. underneath the wing or something? She might be. Oh, maybe not. Nope, it was just the uh, angle for this. She had to throw it. Okay. She's out of TU, so that's not great, but... Okay, Miss Gordon. You have fantastic reactions, terrible firing actors. Let's throw you right here on door duty. We'll worry about throwing a proximity grenade for any that walk out late. In the meantime. Let's see, yeah, you threw that. That should be fine. Playing a little bit defensively. Let's see if this grenade gets us anything good. No. Might have knocked one unconscious, but... Doors are opening. <gasps> oh, he knows not to go through that door. Possibly. What they'll do is they will walk out, see one of the guys... And then walk away. And then next turn, they'll step to where they saw him last time and shoot. I mean, depending on their TUs. Mm. They have some interesting tactics. Okay, tell you what, Mr. Chuk. You have fantastic throwing accuracy, I notice. How good are you? Um... Oh, not good enough, it seems. It will destroy the proximity grenade. Can it even get through the window? 
Well, there goes Sergeant Number One. No, Sergeant Number One, you are my favorite. Mr. Chukarin, let's see if uh, he stabs at the alien from Hell's Heart. Okay, so we can see the alien from that point. You know what? That's worth knowing. He's got a decent amount of tears. No one, because you're all rookies and you're all terrible. Ooh, look at you! It's the new guy that we just hired! Kenji oh. Okabe. Okay, um, apparently he cannot see the alien, but oh. the alien can see him. That does happen occasionally. You know what? Hmm. Well, Rookie, you've dodged one already. Let's see if you can dodge another one. Let's keep you with enough TUs left. Let's see, I'll have you reserved specifically for auto shot. And uh, once that grenade goes off, the alien should be exposed. And we'll see if he can reaction shot the alien before the alien reaction shots him. And Mr. Brit. Same thing, except we'll have you kneel one. Better accuracy. Okay. Is there anything really interesting? Okay, Miss Rookie, I don't care about. I bet you always wanted to walk into an alien ship. Okay, let's see how this goes. Or should I wait until she has more teeth? Now what? Wow! And suffocates from smoke inhalation and alien particulates. Yes. Smoke inhalation is a thing. I love that in this game. <laughs> because actually, yeah, you'll notice if she does stay in the smoke on her health bar, a little uh, white section will start increasing, and that's stun damage. Ah. And if the stun damage gets to her current hit points, she'll fall unconscious. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Love this game. Okay, now, there could be aliens in the smoke. So the yes. smoke counts it, as obscuring cover. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Mm. How convenient. Well, inconvenient since she doesn't have any more TUs left. That is correct. Well, well you know it's there. That's right. Okay. Well, let's just uh, see what happens. Grenade goes off. In the alien in sight. And the smoke obscures the alien. Oh, he saw her. Missed horribly. That's good. Okay, he's just going to be a little asshole about this whole thing. Okay. Okay, Mr. Okabe. There is smoke there, however. Doesn't stop our alien from being able to see him, apparently. There, now you can see the alien. Congratulations. Oh, you have good firing accuracy. Good for you, rookie. Yay! Rookie no more. Oh, you see that door opened? Doors, well, didn't, no, no, doors never start the mission open. So if you didn't open it, someone else did. And not enough to use to justify. Well, maybe. I mean, it is just a rookie. <laughs> but I don't think she'll be able to... With only seven TUs left, I don't think she'll be able to go up there and turn. Um, four TUs to walk up and then two TUs to look. Oh, well then, yeah, sure. To turn... 50 degrees. Well, why not? You're a rookie I don't care about. Congratulations. Of course, we. this is the rookie that was shot at by an alien over here. And that so, back door is closed. Yes, that's a good point. Um, although, sometimes the aliens will walk through the door and then walk the way the door is open, which will close it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes. Oh, ho -ho. Ooh, two of them. Look at them all running around. Okay. Okay. Well, you know. Okay. <laughs> you know there's going to be one up. Uh, you changed it. You know there's going to be one up here somewhere. Yeah, by this door over here. I mean, it's possible that they saw it and then he moved away from it. But tell you what. I'm not seeing any doors open there. There might be one on the roof, but we probably would have spotted him. Not necessarily, though, but probably. Okay. I really hope you can throw this, because if it lands at your feet, well, to be honest, that's just kind of expected from rookies. 
Well done. Tell you what, you earn one step away from the explosion. <laughs> Congratulations. In the meantime, Miss Fogel. Yeah, she can keep her eye up Did over you jump there. over the wall? No. No, sadly. Impassable barrier. Okay, Kenji. You with your very decent firing accuracy, apparently. How decent is it? 66. That is good for a rookie. That is respectable. And okay, reactions. Reactions are one of those things that it's very difficult to increase if they're not good enough. Because you learn by doing, and the only way to increase reactions is to get reaction shots. And if you have low reactions... <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, this grenade will... It might destroy the walls, then again it might not. Uh, the wall might protect the stairwell that's right here. So stairway that's right the here. The blast damage will actually be stopped by things that don't get destroyed? Absolutely. Or maybe not stopped, but severely lessened. Okay. That Let's makes see sense. what happens. Didn't hear any deaths, but the stairs still seem to be. Oh no, Kenji! No! <laughs> Rookie, no! He was so young. He had such promise. Instead, we got this Miss Godin. You even left him with his name. Well, hello! Let's go. Okay, so still just a... Okay, Miss, I have a 14% chance to hit with this. And again, that's for each shot, so... What is that? Like 0.86 to the third? Something like that? No line of fire because you suck. Stand oh, oh, now you stand and now you can see one. Through here, actually. Wow, that's... Okay, her, ac huh. her accuracy is down because she's holding a grenade in the other hand. Let's just see what happens. Whoa. Well, you earned your sergeant position, it seems. I'll allow it. Let's see if you can survive to the end of the mission. That's right. Especially with a primed grenade right there in your hand. I, I mean, it's a proximity grenade, but... If you know. the mission ends, does that go off? No. Okay. Um... I really don't like, because that alien can most definitely shoot at her. She does not, however, have the angle to shoot at it. Does she have a grenade? Uh, she threw one here. So the only other option is that she does not have enough to use to prime it and throw it, though. Well, it sounds like she should at least get away from where the alien can see her. Mm, yeah, but she's just a rookie. Very tempted to just have her step back here and try to shoot in. Because that angle might be able to... She might be able to get the shot off. She's a rookie. She's cheap. Hey, she didn't get shot in the back, so that's good. Okay. 14%. Fantastic. Okay, we will have you move... Eh, bottom here. Put a little bit of... Effort into keeping you alive. And maybe it'll draw the alien out of cover. Yes, into the waiting arms of the sergeants. Here's... Well, I don't okay. want those weapons. Just blew a hole right in there. <laughs> yeah. Then again, her, her, her sniper rifle, her rifle just destroyed half a staircase. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's have you move forward a bit. Stand on the corpse of your fallen... Brethren. No line of fire. Well, you did your best. Let's have you just the hide behind here. The is in the way. That's why there's no line of fire. No, no, they will fire around their friends. <laughs> if I tell them to fire at something that is... If there's even a little bit of a chance that they can... If there's a little bit of a line of sight, they will shoot. <laughs> oh, did he run away or is that an entirely new one? Hard to tell, but that door is open. Yeah, it's been open for a while, though. Okay, we're going to have you step here. You do not see him there. No! Okay, Mr. Homburger, with a terrible, terrible firing accuracy. Now, of course, because the thing is in the way. Look at that. Still no line of fire. Really? Okay, that's fine. We're going to do this. 
No, we're going to do... Maybe okay, it's the corner, corner of the building, of the building. probably. <laughs> okay, Mr. Homburger, you win this time. Don't do anything. Don't do anything to help the cause. Let's see. We have a shot through this window, through there, through this window. Oh, it's close. <laughs> it's close. Let's see if uh, it just barely counts. No line of fire, dang it. <laughs> Move forward one. Can't you do it? No, Len. No. Okay, let's see. Might get luckier if we go right here. Can't you do it? Oh. Yeah, this thing might be in the way. So tell you what, shoot at this piece of wall. Try it again. Well, there was a chance that she would destroy the wall with a shot. I am so disappointed in you, rookie. Mm-hmm. As well you should. Okay, Miss Fogel, let's have you move back to where you were apparently ideally situated. From before, you should have a shot. Well Finally. done, Sergeant. Okay, let's see if this was it. Nope, we got Ooh. one more. We have one more on the prowl. Okay. Hey, he could be in the field up in the uh, northwest corner. That's possible. Because these... These fences do some weird things with, like, line of sight. Because it's possible he's in here, and in which case he's trapped without destroying the fence. <laughs> hmm. Which makes it unlikely that he's in there, but who knows? The game could have generated him. Exactly, there. is what I'm thinking. Here's open. Oh, it is well, the field. Mr. Homburger takes a shot and misses, but that's okay, because the alien missed a whole lot also. Okay, okay. And now he's hidden again. Yep, because fences are weird. But if I move right up to the fence... There we go. There he is. Okay. So, Mr. Homburger, you know what? I'll give you the first crack at him, since the other rookie could theoretically shoot you. Accidentally trying to shoot him. Well, he's unconscious. But not dead. And that should be the last one. That's funny. He was spawned inside of the trap. <laughs> Stupid aliens. Okay, that should be all of them. And... Survey says... We did it. Hooray! Everything is right with the world. Still no containment facility, so the one alien that Homburger shot, but didn't kill, dies. We lost two, two people. Oh. Which still isn't bad. <laughs> You got some alien alloys. Not much, though. That really isn't much. <laughs> the artifacts recovered. Aliens killed eight, apparently. Okay. Hey, hey Miss Fogel becomes a captain. And hey, mm -hmm. the other rookie. Wait, did she kill anything? Was she the horrible one that. Maybe Danielle she didn't get a kill. Gowden? Danielle Gowden? Gowden. I think that's an A. Gowden? Maybe Gowden. Gowden. No, that's, that's an A. So that's... Likely o. an A. That's an O. Oh. Oh. Who knows? Okay, so let us sell the stuff we don't need, because this is the way you basically make money in XCOM. Look at that. Three quarters of a million right there. Looks like you're rich. Yeah, right? No, it doesn't go very far, considering my uh, 20 scientists have a combined salary of uh, 1.2 million a month. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed. Let's just see if anything else really interesting develops in the next couple days. Okay, we got the rockets for our heavy weapon platform. Yay! And hopefully... Any second. There's the rocket launcher tank. Okay, five seconds. Now, I was going to save them just for... Uh, let's see, a terror missions, but... It'd be useful to have... Oh, I also got to equip the crew. Rookie! <laughs> <laughs> and we will... Hey, look, we got yet another one. Small, very low. Heading west. Okay. Chances are it's going to be the larger of the scouts. Would be my guess. Oh, oh. shoot down over Scotland. Hmm. 
I like shooting them down in mountains. Damn it. Outrunning interceptor. Yeah. Give it a second. Once it changes direction, it'll probably slow down. There we are. You still over land. There we go. I was hoping to knock it down in these, uh, like, mountains, because they, they tend to be really interesting maps. And sometimes they have caves and little caves that you can go explore <laughs> and really? things like that. Yeah. Oh, huh. maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. Speaking of, okay, well, before we go and take care of that, I think we'll call it a part. Thank you for joining me, Astakos. No problem, the Queen. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's just save, and I guess we'll see you next time. Thanks for staking with us. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, ever-so-interesting commentary of, uh, us. Yay. Uh, I said that, I'm, I am definitely going to edit that out, because that was really <laughs> kind of stupid. And have a good one. Bye-bye.